In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Google TV on a USB and use it on any PC you want. So very first, you guys will need this data, the chip and refuse and as well as a pen drive. I will leave download in the description and you guys can download those. So you can see I have plugged in 64 gig pen drive. Then simply extract this downloaded zip file that you guys have downloaded from my description down below. This is Google TV. So right click and extract all then hit on extract button. So here now you can see Google TV 13 data folder and inside you will see ISO and also you can see that there is storage. So inside there are some files that we will need that later. So go back. Now open up the Rufus and click on yes. Then select the pin drive that you guys have inserted. So here is my 64 gig pin drive. Now we're going to select ISO file that we have extracted. So go to Google TV and select this ISO file. Now increase the persistent partition size because we need to increase this partition size because to keep your file settings and installed apps safe across reboots when using a live USB. So yeah, just do it. In partition scheme, you will need to use GPT. So yeah, instead of MBR, switch to GPT. Now leave everything in default and hit on start button and press on OK because it's asking that it will destroy your pen drive. So yeah, press OK and press OK once again. Now this might take some time, so yeah, chill and take some coffee, relax. Well, we have completed formatting this. Now close the Rufus and I'm refreshing this. So you can see this pen drive now it's a uh, GTV 13, Google TV 13, and inside you can see these are the files that it just flashed. Now right click on your start button and go to disk management because we have uh, some storage left. So this here is Google TV 13 and right side it's a persistent storage. Now we need to right click and delete this volume and click on yes. And then it should say unallocated and right click then click on new simple volume and go to this widget menu and click on next and go next and assign this drive click on next so from here in format you need to choose exfat now in allocation size leave default you can name anything here i will name this like sys and click on next we need to use ext4 because it will perform better and it is the android or google tv system feature as well while fat32 is limited max up to like four gigabyte per file so yeah you cannot do anything and this is why you will need to use exfat instead of fat32 all right now to be able to use uh, sys stories by google tv you need to first go to formatted pen drive and you will see system.sfs so just you guys can cut this file and you can go back to the sys stories and then just paste there. Well, now that you guys can see that we have system.sfs on my sys USB storage or persistent storage. Now, next thing we need to do is go to Google TV data folder. All right, so go to the Google TV extracted folder, go to this folder and click on storages. And these are the data that you will need to extract and you need to paste on sys usb stories once again so you can see that i have 64 gig and it is already used and now it only have 53 now here you can see it's a 64 i cannot use 64 here because it will override so yeah instead of that i will go with 32 so in if your case is like 16 you need to go to 8 or if you have 8 gigabyte then just use 4 gigabyte so i'm just going to go with 32 so now i'm going to extract this and click on extract this is going to take some time because it's huge file like 30 gigabyte you can see that so just drink some coffee once again so finally iso file has been extracted now i'm going to paste this on sys storage so just right click and paste this file it's gonna take some time once again now your usb is ready to boot up so now you can simply restart your computer now press f11 and f12 key on your laptop as soon as it's restarting so this will bring you to those 
boot menu if your laptop is saying you have like secure boot on you need to turn off the secure boot first all right so to do that you need to go to bios setup right now i'm going to buy setup as you guys can see that so go to buy setup and hit an enter and from here you'll need to go to secure boot right here you might be on some other tab you need to uh, search for secure boot so you'll need to turn this off because it will not work if you don't do that so just hit an ok and click and apply and press an ok now just exit this out and once again press on f11 and f12 key constantly to bring the boot manager and there we go so so you guys can select uh, anything here you can also if you wanted to go with sdmi you can choose this external display and if you just wanted to go like normal you can just choose this one and hit an enter now this is going to start a google tv and don't do anything on console just let it be well there we go google tv is opening on your laptop well there we go now you need to set this up now just simply set this up so go to english united states now it take you are using internet now go ahead and hit an enter and continue so just simply uh, sign in your Google account here. Perfect. Now it's going to show you terms of service. So simply accept that and you can continue, allow and accept. Um, it's up to you. So I'm just going to say no, no and continue. No thanks. If you wanted to use hey google you can use hey google so i'm just going to turn this on and yeah you can get much out of for your assistant and from here you need to choose android tv instead of chromecast or whatever and after that you need to click on this buttons well guys this is the same google tv that you guys can see on the google tv itself um, now you can install apps and whatever you guys wanted to so here is a youtube video i'm just going to play some videos here there you go now it's playing video on hdr and you can crank the settings well now you can see that this is running uh on real hd you can also go back if you wanted to and just fast as google tv itself and it's crazy to see this on your pc running the google tv so you can see on settings system stories well this is the uh, stories that we created let me decrease the brightness so that you guys can see that so this this is the uh, stories that you guys have created it have 33 gigabyte now you can uh, install games or apps whatever you guys wanted to it's up to you and it's that simple to install google tv on your usb stick and now you guys can load this USB on any other computers as well without uh, messing up with your Windows or whatever OS. And that's how you set up Google TV on USB stick and the PC. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.